And right now, a legal battle is brewing in Morgantown, West Virginia. This comes after a legal representation for, for representative that is for former WVU basketball coach Bob Huggins says he never officially resigned from his post as head coach. Chris Rose joins us live with those details this morning and what the university is now saying. Good morning, Chris. Chris, good morning. A lot of folks are waking up saying I thought this story was pretty much put to bed after two DUIs, one in Cincinnati and one in Pittsburgh. Bob Huggins apparently resigned as the head coach of West Virginia, uh, West Virginia's men's basketball team. But apparently he says he did not resign and he wants his job back. Now, here is a direct quote from Huggins attorney to the university. Coach Huggins has never communicated his resignation to you, the athletic director or anyone at WVU. Here's WVU's response. The university will not it will not accept Mr. Huggins revocation of his resignation, nor will it reinstate him as head coach of the men's basketball program. Again, this all started after Huggins was arrested for DUI in Pittsburgh on June 16th and blew more than twice the legal limit. His resignation was announced by the university the following night. But Huggins attorney says that the university announcing his client's retirement was based on a text message from Huggins wife. The university says that they are confused by the back backtrack from Huggins because no matter whose device the message was sent from, Huggins clearly communicated his resignation and the AD at West Virginia went on to say, we accept your resignation and wish you all the best in your retirement and we appreciate your many years of dedicated service to WVU. But Huggins alleges he signed no resignation letter and he wants his job back and he is threatening a lawsuit if not reinstated. So the question is, is will the university reinstate Huggins or will they go to court? Only time will tell. And of course, this is a story we're going to be talking about for at least a little while longer. And we got more on this story on our website, kdka.com. But for now, reporting in the newsroom, Chris DeRose, KDKA TV News.